We in the office. Just say it how you feel. Facts. Say it how you feel. Oh! We in the office. Oh! Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Say It How You Feel, the greatest podcast in the world. <laughs> mm. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, today we have an episode that I think everyone can relate to, uh, especially if you have social media. There's something brewing in the air. What do you think? Dog, uh, I just I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody that decided to come back today. Uh, <laughs> if you've been paying attention, we didn't seen a, a lot of mischievous movements, if you catch my drift. <laughs> For real. You got people that's, that got a platform, that got a voice, and they decide to just... Hey, talking that shit. Like, what the... F- I, I, I just don't get it. For those of you who are lost, what the fuck we're talking about? We're talking about these people, and we're going to specify them. Trust me. Talking about people that have huge platforms that just say some of the most random shit, right? And they call it gospel. Like, what do you what do you think it is, bro? Like, is is it just a need to be in the spotlight? Like, instead of like just beating around the bush with this shit, yo, Kanye, what the fuck, man? What's going hmm. on, yay? Before we before we even dive into Kanye. I'm Say. I'm Mo. And this is Say How You Feel. So, <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> Yo, let's start. Listen, listen, listen. I, right? I always like to, like, every time I hear this guy th- like talk, I always like to analyze what he's saying and try to think there's a deeper meaning. Finally, I have come to the light and I realize this nigga has lost his mind. And he's... <laughs> And his he's he's lost his mind, or he has lost his mind for some time now. This nigga is so he's so far gone, bro, that you are he was so late to this party. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. He's so far gone, he is making sane people crazy, bro. And maybe you're right. Maybe I'm so late to this party, but you know how sometimes he talks, and I was like, damn, maybe they maybe there is a deeper meaning to what he's saying is he really that much of a genius that i'm not seeing it right honestly this is a scary thing bro scary fucking thing and you're right i'm late to this party (laughs) you got it yo this is crazy fucking bro so it's just my, my thing about this whole like situation though it's just like he has said some really you're right bro he has said some really prolific shit you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like his he breakdowns, has. but it's it, I don't get it. I don't get J. Cole mentioned this shit a couple of years ago on a track called False Prophets. You remember that shit? Yes, I do. Speaking of false prophets, bro, speaking of this nigga fucking Kanye West, like he was on uh Joel Olstein, you know that the 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 oh, angelic yes. preacher, right? Oh yes. And when he was on there talking with Buddy, he was saying some like telling people you gotta hide your kids from this industry. You know what I'm saying? Like he was Letting them know, like, it's everything you see is being controlled. You know what I'm saying? hmm And this dude that he on stage with, as a, as a person who has one of these megalithic churches, you know this nigga got a clothing brand, bro? You know what this clothing I, brand is called? No. Sheep's Clothing. Oh, my God. He's a oh preacher. My... <laughs> he has a clothing brand. Oh, oh well... Sheep's Clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing, bro, bro. Tell me that's not in your. That's like throwing it in your face, bro. That is like throwing it in your face. That it's <laughs> it's, it's it's just crazy how people follow. That's what I was trying to get to. Mm-hmm. Just like you were so blind to Kanye West's bullshit, thinking it was deeper than that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't blind, nigga. I was misguided. You you had this. As people just feed into this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and that's what they want. That's what they want, bro. This narcissistic, just it's like a cult leader. He is, in a sense. So, uh, my my biggest thing, though, like he has said some really, really, really deep shit. You know what I'm saying? He said like things what? that made give us some. I'll give you a good example. When he was talking about, um, he was talking about like j- just a lot of things he talks about, bro. When he talks about the black community coming together, he talks about, um, you know, when he what, what you just said. You know, you need to protect your children from the industry. I completely agree. When he talks about making sure he keeps his daughters and his sons off camera, 
I completely agree. We talk we talk about this shit about mm-hmm. maintaining children's innocence and not allowing them to be subjugated to society at an early age because of what it does. We talk about this. He aligns with my views in that sense. So because of that, I can understand. But then there's the other part to him where I'm like, yo, this nigga is, he's losing Bonkers. it, bro. Off the fucking wall. But that makes you really think, is he or am I not seeing it? Which is why a lot of times when I hear people who typically say smart things sometimes, when I hear them speak, I like to listen to see what, to see where they're coming from. You understand? Doesn't yeah. mean I'm naive. Does not mean I'm naive. It just means that I'm I'm trying to analyze shit from a different point of view. And this past maybe week they, when, I was about to say maybe they might say something prolific, you know? Maybe or something I'm not seeing, right? And then you know they say it or but you know they say it and and, and then I analyze it. I'm like, wow, that really makes sense when you look at it from this angle. But you lost me with this whole white lives matter shit. For you to go have a show, right? And to deliberately dress black models in White Lives Matters, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Then to have Candace Owens up there, you know, Candace Owens up there, that that changes, that's solidifying the fact of what you stand. And then you openly say, listen, white, listen, white lives do matter. Uh, black lives matter. BLM was a fucking was a scam. Is he wrong? To a certain degree. But we're not talking about the organization. With it, it, we're referring to the movement, bro. It's not about the organization. It's about the movement. And when you do that, right, he's degrading everything the movement stood for and simply basing it on an organization that has motives, which is no different than White Lives Matter or any other organization that wants to pitch their agenda. That is the problem. And you lost me. And then he said, oh, well, when I ran to Twitter, this is what he's saying. When I ran to, when I ran to social media, Asking the black community to help me get my children back, nobody helped. So white lives matter. And I'm just like, so you're deliberately telling us, fuck you guys, right? Fuck black lives matter because y'all didn't help me get my kids. Do you see how sadistic that is, bro? Yeah. It's like you gotta be but you're telling me fuck a whole race of people, your race of people as well, because we didn't we didn't jump to your aid to get involved in a legal situation, right? A matter that has nothing to do with us. You put everything on social media, people are going to have opinions. That's one thing I learned. Mm-hmm. You want people to stop having opinions? Don't put your shit out there. You want people to stop hating on you? Don't put your business out there. Mm. It's that simple. When you do that, people are going to have opinions. And then you go, you expect people to help you? They can have opinions, but ain't no one going to be fucking desperate enough to jump out there and help you. Now, the thing I want to know, right? is given the fact that he made this comment, what happened to all the, uh, I would say, other well-known celebrities, black celebrities that actually do come to check up on him when he's going through shit? I wonder how they feel about that. Mm. Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle. I don't know if Kevin and him are even cool, but I know Dave for sure. And a whole bunch of other celebrities who checked up on him when he was out in his little fucking ranch and going through his little his, his episode by himself. I wonder how they view that because I know all those people have a strong feeling about their people. Mm-hmm. And for him to sit there and make those comments, bro, it's, it's out of pocket. And I'm me personally, that was when I realized, and I went to the comment section and, and, and I'm going to get to my point on this one. I realized that he has cult followers because I go to the comment section and I see these people defending it. Oh, it's a marketing thing. Oh, it's for attention. He knows how to get you guys uh, riled up. Oh, um, Kanye is not crazy. You guys just don't understand. Well, somebody was like, uh, well, shit, white lives don't matter. And I was like, that's fair. And of course they matter. Of course they matter. Mm -hmm. Of course we know all lives matter. We know this. But you guys are missing the point. You're missing the point, man. No one's being, no one has to... I'm not going to say no one. White people do not have to have that fear of being pulled over and saying, fuck, is this it? You could do everything right. There's a movie. I forgot what it's called, but Joey Badass is in it. It's one of the movies he started, right? And he wakes up and every day he's murdered. But Damn. every single. Yeah. yeah. So it's he like wakes Groundhog up. Groundhog Day? Yes. Just like that. Wakes up, dies, wakes up the same day before he dies. And he replays the same day over and over and over and over again. I'm about to look for this shit. Research department. 
Yes. So, and there's one part where he, listen, he knows what's about to happen. He knows this white cop's going to kill him. And even down to the T, he gets the cop to accept the fact that we've done this before. You know exactly what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it. This is weird. And the cop still kills him, bro. Even though he Damn. did everything right. Yes. And then, <laughs> um, you know how they say, oh, well, if he didn't have his hoodie, well, if he wasn't wearing his chain. Or if he wasn't, if he wasn't smoking a cigarette, if he wasn't being rude, if he would have just complied, even down to when the nigga complied, he still died. You want to know why he died? Because the cop was racist. You know what I took away from that film? I took away that no matter what it is, no matter what you think you could have done better, if they are going to kill you, they're going to get it done. Nothing you could have done, nothing you could do could change the mind of that police officer, of that situation, because that's just the way that America is. That's just the way that that person is. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Insane. But I look at these comments, man, and I go back and I'm just like, Kanye is breeding. He's breeding ignorance, bro. And he is, he's dangerous. He's extremely dangerous to the black community. Mm. I stand behind that. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with you more, bro. Like it's, it's real life cult shit. Facts. Cult leaders have psychosis or narcissistic personalities that drive them to preach a message and convince others to follow. Mm. Usually psychopaths with a, a desire for power and often take ideas from politics, religion, and psychology to fulfill their purpose. Mm. Dangerous cult leaders because they demanded perfect loyalty from followers. They overvalued themselves and devalued those around them. They were intolerant <laughs> of criticism. Like, hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That is a um, description to a T. Am I bugging? This it's it's real cult shit, bro. And it's by real the way, cult shit. Sorry to cut you, but uh, research department found that movie. It's called Two Distant Strangers. Yeah, that's that, the movie. That. Great job, research department. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to the uh, psychological breakdown or psychoanalysis of this nigga. Yes, that's exactly what he is, bro. He's a cult leader. He's not the only one either. He supported openly another cult leader. You want to drop the bomb on that one? Mr. Uh, Donald J. Trump, goddamn it. <laughs> That's right, bro. Fucking Donald Trump has another, that's another cult. Yeah. A whole another cult, bro. But we talked about this shit, man. We talked about this shit, bro. Like, it's real, that mentality. Like, you just blindly follow this motherfucker. They could do no wrong. It's a false prophet. Listen, false fucking at, prophet. At, this, at this rate, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. At this rate, I'm just like, this dude, I'm a uh first, I don't really buy his clothing or shoes or anything like that, but I'm really gonna like distance myself from this dude, man. I can't, I cannot listen to his music. I can't, you know, there's some people that are just really good at their craft, but they just take it too far. He is no different in my eyes than R. Kelly. Mm. I'm being completely honest, because the things that he's saying. In the manner in which he's saying them is so dangerous, bro. It's dangerous when you when you do stuff like this. And I think Charlemagne, who I'm not a fan of, made um made some really interesting remarks. And he was like, listen, Kanye just wants attention. Yeah, give it to him every time. He's like, Kanye loves when he's down, he loves to lean on the black community. Loves mm -hmm. to lean on them talking about black this, black that. And the moment that he's on top or he got something going on, he wants to shit on the black community for for the white corporations. Mm -hmm. And this Trying is to get no back different. in the fashion. Trying to get back exactly. in the fashion. It's always about fashion. You know what I'm saying? It's true, bro. Yeah, I'm like, mm, Charlemagne is probably the best thing you ever said. I'm going to take it back, bro. And this is when I maybe I was in disbelief. And this is when I, I, I it, everything that's happened since then, I deserve, right? Mm hmm. Remember when he went to fucking TMZ? Mm hmm. And was it, it John? Was a choice? Yes, bro. Yeah. And was it John Lathan? Um, Latham was like going off on his ass. Mm hmm. Van Lathan, bro. Lathan. When Van Lathan yeah. went off on his ass. You remember that shit, bro? Bro, that was when I should have truly understood. Like, you know what? I'm bugging. He just, he's, he's so far gone. So far gone. So he far is. gone. And it's, it, don't, it don't change the fact that he is made some amazing music it don't 
but it's it, he he's it's over, bro. It's, it, it's, he's too far gone, dog. I personally believe, you know, if you really think about it, he's made billions off the backs of blacks. Facts. No different Art. than a slave master. <laughs> Yo, but it's it's real shit. <laughs> That's a he said bars, <laughs> bars. But yo, he said, he's real no shit. different than a slave master. He is not. He's not, bro. Look how much money he's know. made. I, I, yeah, but I don't know, man. I, I need you don't think it. so? Nah. Listen, watch this. I don't have to persuade you, but hear my points, right? I got you. He he's un, he's he's Uncle Tom in it right now, right? Mm-hmm. He's he preaches and vouches. For the masses, and you know what I'm talking when I say masses, 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 right? Mm-hmm. On top of that, he is profiting off of the black dollar. He is profiting off of his music, which particularly and specifically pertains to a, a certain type of people, right? Certain types of people, majority buy his buy his clothing, buy his shoes, invest in his music, go to his shows, go to his church, go to his church. What does that tell you? Go to his shows. Come on, bro. Come on. You can't tell me that's not that's no different than uh, a football organization. That's no different than fucking uh, any other any other. Pre- Listen, you cannot tell me that's no different than these corporations who are doing the same exact thing. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and just make these comments without any proof, right? Have you have you seen Kanye donate any money to communities, or have you seen Kanye? Doing anything to help benefit communities in well, I, I let's say, say you, last five years, you really don't see nobody that's out here. To, you know what I'm saying? Like that's really like in the community. I don't really see. Uh, maybe it's just don't come I across do. my timeline. You know I do. Saying? People don't. Fat need, Joe. Fat Joe. Want to hear something yeah. crazy? Fat What's Joe, that? and he was talking about the shit of the day. And I can't even really say donate to a certain degree, but what I will say is this: Fat Joe, right, lives. He lives in the Bronx, bro. If I'm not mistaken, he lives in the Bronx right now, as I'm speaking. All his businesses, all of his establishments are in the Bronx, bro, where he's from. He says, listen, I'm going to put these corner stores up. I'm going to put these um, fast food chains up. I'm going to put these things in my community, and they're going to be ran by me in my community. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I grew up here. Mm. I respect that. Even if he didn't live there, he puts his businesses there. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's a different type of that's a different type of community involvement, and because of that, you create, can go you create anywhere. jobs in the yeah, you creating jobs in the community. You know, that's, that's right. Create an opportunity. That's right. That's it. I respect that. I respect that, bro. Yeah. That's where he lives, man. That's where he resides, and he said he's lived there his whole life. As of now, bro, he lives in New York, in the Bronx, bro, where he's from. So my biggest thing is, you know, Kanye's so out of touch with the people, man. You look at a place like Chicago. Mm. You look at a place like Chicago. Where it I could feel like be he's so much touch. opportunity. Where it could be so much opportunity. For real. Yeah, I don't know, so man. He's selfish, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's so focused on himself. Every, like, it's, it's all about him. Well, I know I'm, I'm over it, man. I'm over yeah. all these niggas. Yeah. And, and the, term, the term is not Uncle Tom. I wanted to correct that, too. Sorry. The term would be it? Sambo. <laughs> What's a Sambo? Sambo is actually mm-hmm. the villain in that story of uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Mm. Got you. Uncle Tom was actually the, the good the good guy in that book. So mm. it wouldn't be wouldn't be an Uncle Tom, it'd be a Sambo. Interesting. Kanye was a shit, boy, for a minute. He was. Where, where did it go wrong? When, when, his, what do you think when his mom died, bro. I think when yeah. his mom died, bro, it was over. That's it. It was over. And I don't think, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think getting with Kim helped at all. Hell no. Fuck no. Uh, the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Hell yeah. You said worse? No, the worst thing that could have happened. Oh the my God. The worst thing that could have happened. You got what, like, because how does she get to where she is? You know what I'm saying? What is she known for? You know? Oh my God. It's like, it's it just, that, that, he didn't need that. He didn't need that. Because now it's just, you just shifted into that world where it's constant attention. You know, mm, that's fucking crazy. And what's crazy is he want all this attention, but when he get the attention, he he spaz out on fucking <laughs> <laughs> spaz out on people. Like what are you, bro. What are you doing? Oh my god, it's true. It don't make no damn sense, bro. 
It don't make no sense at all. When I started thinking of Kanye and his following, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with Donald Trump and his following. These are modern day cults. They think are. Of, like, some of these fucking crazy ass cult leaders, fucking Jim Jones, Charles Manson, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like David Koresh. You ever heard about David Koresh? No. That's a dude from Waco. Oh, okay. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Waco, Texas, where this man in his 70s, he uh he ended up staying um fucking holding off the police, SWAT, and all that. Cause they had a he had a whole cult following inside of like a warehouse, 70s. right? It was not what was the it? 70s. I thought it was the 70s. Nope, this was 90s. Oh 93. shit. Yeah. Yo, the nineties was wild, bro. Jeffrey Dahmer. You got fucking uh this Rodney that, King, the LA riots. Yeah, nineties was wild. David bro. Koresh, like this was There's some wild shit out there in the nineties. I don't know what the fuck's going on in the nineties, bro, but niggas was wild. Anyway, what? yeah, I do know who that is. There was a couple things in the nineties. A couple cult leaders. Marshall Applewhite. Don't know who that is. Uh, this dude, he was the one that had all these people um thinking that it was gonna be a UFO coming back to get him. Heaven's Gate. <laughs> oh Heaven's God. Gate. Organized Holy a mass shit. suicide in 1997. Oh my God. That's not even funny, bro. Why am I laughing? This shit is crazy. I'm wondering, are there still like are there cults? There has to be. It has to be cults. Of course. Right like of real, course. like like not Kanye followers. I'm talking like real like research department let's check that out listen i know for a fact there's a bunch i don't know why they're not getting that much attention but there's a bunch because that's what they want you know what i'm saying that's what mm -hmm. but these i was just so this is another thing i was thinking about here which got mm -hmm. me think about joel olstein is these churches these big preachers you know what i'm saying like they had these megalithic fucking churches mm. it's the same thing it is the same that's it's like your little cult <laughs> Mm. You you can do no wrong in these people's eyes. I want to know what the connection is. What is the one quality that all cult leaders have? A narcissist. Mm -mm. No, not at all, actually. They're all fucking charismatic, bro. And convincing. Oh, yeah, of course. But, I mean, are they all narcissistic? Not really. Some of them like the movement more than they um idolize themselves, right? Like, Jim Jones, I can definitely see because he was a preacher. You know what I'm saying? You read up on him, you'll see it. But when you look at like other cult leaders and, and how people get these following, it's really about they're saying it's about being charismatic and convincing. And the goal is manipulation, it's whether manip it's monetary or power. When I, when I say it's narcissistic, it's you have to follow me, though. Like mm -hmm. you have to. I'm the one that's going to get you to where we, it's the, the I'm it's me. I told you about Heaven's Gate. They're talking to me and I'm spreading the gospel to you. God's talking to me. Telling me, do you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. where the narcissist. That's because as that charismatic, you know, personality that you have, you but you're the leader of that cult. That's what cult the cult leaders like. I'm you follow me. That's the narcissism. Okay, I could definitely see that. I definitely see that. What about those satanic cults though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it <laughs> falls back on him. Yeah, we got you. It's crazy. Well, it's a crazy world we live in. He almost world. got my ass fucking around with that nigga. Kanye almost got me, bro. I was about to, oh, nah, you guys don't understand. It's all about marketing. and blah, blah, blah. Nah, bro. No, enough is enough. Had to put my foot down this one. I had a reality check myself the other night. I was like, boy, am I losing my <laughs> mind? Am I going crazy? Does this nigga got me in? in... I would love to hear what Free thinks about this because, you know, he's a huge, huge, huge Kanye, Kanye fan. Man. Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. Kanye? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Should have had him on for this one. I know. Jeez. Damn. Oh my god. So he finally put finally took the shades off, huh, bro? Took the glasses I, off. He was blind. I was man. See. This this nigga had me in a loop, man. I was like, oh my god, I can't. Did he just say what I thought he said? I want you to turn your Bibles to Matthew 7 15. <laughs> it says, Yo. Beware false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but oh inwardly they are ravaging wolves. Ooh. Bro. Mm. You can't tell me that Joe. <laughs> you can't tell me that Joel Osteen shit ain't fucking trippy, bro. Sheep's clothing. Everybody knows that a wolf That's in sheep's the most clothing. gangster move out of the best. I, I look preachers and pimps are so similar, dog. They really are. Preachers and pimps are so similar. I remember I see. I I, I think I've talked about this on the show before. This one preacher, fucking. Uh, he was like, uh, y'all. 
asking me, how, well, how come he gets a jet? Why does he need a jet? You know, so what, what I did was I went and bought another jet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling us that shit, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> like that shit. Talk about flex, bro. Talk That's not even a flex. It That's is. not even a flex, man. Yeah, That's it foul. Is. Yeah, That's it is. foul. Waxing. Flex is to the, the number one stunner. It's just gangster. That's you're mad up, at man. me because you're giving me all this money and I'm spending it how I will too. But guess what? I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> and you know what's even more fucked up? Those same people. Praise God. <laughs> we're, you know what? We're going here. Fuck it. We already, we already opened the door. We're going here. Those same people, bro, have nothing. Some of those people have nothing. And yeah. they give their last bit and stay in that situation. Yep. You know, one of the biggest things my father always taught me, and he was, listen, he knew the Bible front to back so well i can tell him any verse and this man will be able to tell me where and what passage and what verse it was and i thought that was interesting right and he used to always tell me you know you don't have to go to church to worship god mm. you don't nope you can do it right here and then you know another thing he used to always tell me is and i, I still believe this the laws of god are written on the heart of man right mm-hmm the laws of God are written on the heart of man because that That's means deep. like you know what's wrong inside you, you know what's wrong. Some people don't have that 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 understanding of okay what I'm doing is wrong. I shouldn't kill. I shouldn't steal. Is those who choose to go against it because mm -hmm. listen, there's other places in the world where people have never been indoctrinated into society, and they have customs that should not be broken. Mm -hmm. Like taking on multiple wives or taking somebody's wife or killing others and stuff like that. And as other cultures, that's all they do. Yeah. I'm telling you, though. But one thing is for certain. They know what's right and wrong. They know you shouldn't be stealing. They know you shouldn't be, uh, you know, killing your neighbor. They know you shouldn't be doing these things. So I'm telling you, that whole church thing, and I hate to say it, bro. I just feel like a lot of people are being uh, led down the wrong path. And I really don't see much of a difference. I don't see much of a difference between the church and these cult leaders. I don't. Yeah. That's just my, that's just how I feel. If you really want the truth, man, go seek the truth. Go read the Bible. Everything you need is there. Everything you need is here. Go seek it. I feel like you go to a church and there's some people that take that shit so literal where they're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta drop a hundred dollars or I gotta make sure I have my Sunday's best on. What happens if you don't have those things? You know, there's some people, bro, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, to me. you're going to be judged. You're going to be judged. That's what it's, it's all up, about. Up and down. And then there's some people who have, like, are homeless, have nothing, and their faith is so strong. Their faith is so strong. This shit can shatter pastors and preachers in, in, in the hundreds, bro. Crazy. Yeah. It's all about what's inside, man. Anyway. It, it really is, man. You know, oh, like mm -hmm. the Pope, you know what I'm saying? And uh pastors, priests, back before like celebrities, like they were like gods. They they were real life rock stars, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like these were the rappers of back then. <laughs> yeah. The preacher was the main man, you know? Yeah. And that's that narcissistic personality trait. <laughs> you got saying, like all this narcissistic I'm shit. Not, you like, nah. I'm not, I, I take it. Let's go. Not, because hey. they, you look at every one of them. Every it's crazy. Kanye, man, Trump, two biggest ones today. Who else today? If you could really think about it, is there anybody else that's on that, that type of um, level or close? On to that it? nah, on that type of level, honestly, that's doing harm. That's publicly, openly doing harm like that. No, mm -hmm. no, I can't. Maybe I'm sure there's others, but and, you know, many some people would even say rappers. All these rappers, if you really think about it, bro, they have followers, they have a fan base, and they're talking about doing the worst. If you really think yeah, about it, bro. Yeah, but no, I don't think it's the same. Why do you say no? I mean, I guess, and especially you talking about these like these drill type rappers. Fucking mm -hmm. my fucking bitches getting money. I mean, yeah. Cool. Killing everybody. Killing shooting, this nigga, spinning the, the block. Hood. Spinning the block. <laughs> Spinning the block. I mean, listen. Hey, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, time and place. I like listening to the shit sometimes, but I noticed that's all that's all these niggas are doing, right? I miss mm -hmm. some shit where niggas would tell stories, bro. I miss the old Davies where this nigga would tell a story. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute since I heard him tell a story, man. Being real. 
I listen to his shit now, and it's like, mm, I remember when this nigga was like really grinding, and he was he almost was on some J. Cole shit, which is what got him so much attention and the mm-hmm. hunger and 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 what he was saying. Now I just feel like it's all the same shit, man. All these niggas talk about is their jewelry, how many bitches they fuck. In the cars they drive in, it's like I get that, bro. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm, gl- I'm glad. Freddie Gibbs just dropped a fucking banger. Did he? Freddie Gibbs just. I know this is completely off topic. <laughs> Freddie Gibbs just <laughs> dropped a fire ass album. I'm gonna go listen to this shit today. Yeah. Promise. Fire. Is that good? Yeah, it's fire front to back. It's a banger. I ain't I like fucks that with Freddie in. Gibbs though. I fucks with Freddie Gibbs. Okay, because I didn't like that uh that game album. I feel like this nigga was he was not himself. I don't know what, what he was trying to be or I don't know. There's one there's one song on there I like, but I wasn't really fucking with it, man. I'm sorry. It I was, was like, nigga, a, you too old. You sound like you want to be you you know. That, to that's what I was, it's, it's too too. It was too too long. The album was like thirty tracks. Yeah, I don't, don't want to hear you for thirty fucking songs. <laughs> <laughs> and then because Drake didn't do a feature with the nigga, you know what he did. You know what he posted in the album? It was like one of those songs. He posted Drake apologizing, like, yeah, you know, make, like making excuses on a, like a voicemail and use that as an interlude. I was like, come on, dogs. Why you do this nigga like that? This was a entertaining conversation here about uh, these false prophets out here. I know, just, man. I just I, don't don't let yourself get sucked into the message, you know? Like, yeah, like my dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga had me, nigga had me as a fool, bro. Out here as a loyal follower, I was like, nah. I, and I don't even like the nigga like that. But I was just like, yo, maybe he really is a genius. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, you have sent me some shit saying this nigga's a genius. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> oh but, my god. So you could be a genius and still be a fucking be yeah. a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, as fucked up as people, like, I know it's it's going to sound horrible. This is about to sound really bad. It's about to sound really bad. I'm precursoring this with that, all right? Mm-hmm. But well, Hitler was an amazing leader. Oh, you know, he was a horrible you know, person. He was a horrible person. <laughs> but he was an amazing leader. Hey, congratulations. We just lost everybody. Let's <laughs> talk. <laughs> no. Holy shit. No, I was going to bring this nigga up too cuz he was one of the biggest fucking cult leaders of all time. But yeah. I was like, let me I was like, let me stay away from that for two reasons, right? One, <laughs> I believe it was because of it was because of um I can't say it was really cult. It was more like it's a propaganda. It's a militia. You know, they were used in a way where they were just following orders as they say. Do did they believe what they were doing was just at the time? Yes, they did, right? Mm. So that is the reason why I did not use him as an example throughout this whole entire thing. And I'm sure people listening probably thought about him. But you got to understand the context of a cult leader and then a militia. It is no different. This is probably going to get this is a precursor. It is no different than our military when they feed us bullshit and tell us that this is what it is. And we have to do this because of this, that and the third. It's no I mean, different, bro. It, it, it is in a way because it was him. It wasn't them. It was him. You know What's what the saying? difference between them and him? I'll tell you the difference is he is the single point target that you can blame. Them, it makes it way harder to put the blame on somebody. Yeah. but That's he, the difference. He, he got it out the mud, bro. He got it out the mud and came up as a leader in that, in that regime. You know what I'm saying? As the, the Third Reich. I'm just trying to sit here and really, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's that same... Like this was a false prophet. The narcissism behind this guy. <laughs> Follow me, <laughs> because I'm the one that's gonna get you where we need to be. I'm that guy. That's what I'm here for. Uh, well, you know what? I can't. I'm not gonna dispute that. Um, you can't. I agree with you. you. Can't. You cannot. I can't. I can't. This is so I can't. like it's just it. it, it all. I ties purposely back stayed away thing. from him, though. Yeah, it does. So you were thinking and it I- too. Hell yeah! This when you when okay. we was going through the list of fucking, I swear we was going through the list of fucking, um, you know, cult leaders. I was like, he's the biggest one, mm-hmm. but I also knew that that shit stem, a lot of that shit stemmed from just following orders because I don't want to be killed. He was killing niggas left and right, bro. If anyone that was not, that's a difference though. Cult leaders don't have to do that. That nigga wasn't charming or charismatic, and that is the number one trait that all cult leaders have. 
They want to win you over. This nigga used more fear to win people over and then gain the support of the people. But it, that's the that's why I didn't bring him up because I'm just like, I if I seen that nigga, I'd want to beat his ass for just his mustache. Like you know, he doesn't nothing charismatic about that nigga. Even the way he talks. You ever seen any of the the the, the rallies, some speeches that he used to hold? What yes. is March, bro? They stay yes, they do symbolize a lot of like what I'm not gonna lie, what Trump be doing. I'm not gonna lie. However, it's it's not something that is uh, I would follow. The, it's more passionate. It's more patriotism for it for their country at that time yeah. versus, hey guys, there there's something that only we, the gifted, the blessed can do. You know what I'm saying? It's a, I I feel like it's so different, bro. I get what yeah. you're saying. I got there you. are some yeah there are some and characteristics. I, I, hear, I hear from your side too. I got you. Yeah, but hey, okay, <laughs> you know? all right, very That's well. Fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. I knew he was coming up though. I knew that motherfucker was gonna be a part of this episode. I knew it. As he much as we try to stay too. away. Yeah, and I'll, I, this I was gonna end it, but I was just like, mm. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> just here he is. Yeah, hold on. I got one more thing I want to say. Yeah. Say how you feel, bro. I'm sorry. Say that's how you feel. No, nah, it's all good, man. I had to go. Anyway, it's all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate y'all for coming and kicking it with us. Uh thinking about this shit i hope we ain't get y'all too riled up get your blood uh get your blood pressure up before you go to work or whatever you're doing today Re- regardless <laughs> of what it is you know what i'm saying uh we appreciate y'all i'm mo i'm say and this is say how you feel catch y'all next week oh and please don't forget think for yourself think mm. for yourself do your own research facts peace peace